up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? Welcome to J.K. Lee Sports. What's up, people? Welcome to the third episode of J.K. Lee Sports. Of course, man, you know we out here at the third annual Battle of the Booth tournament put on by my boy Fuse. But we're going to have interviews. We're going to have highlights. Y'all stay tuned. Advertising and operating a business go hand in hand. Mad Game Entertainment has a long, detailed history of working within clients' budgets and delivering big results. Mad Game helped launch the popular Go Vote app. We've been involved with several successful political campaigns. We assist the everyday marketing needs for small businesses and many other organizations. We custom fit marketing plans for the largest budget and the most modest. We look forward to enhancing your presence in your industry. Welcome back from the commercials, man. Man, we out here kicking it with the parents tailgating. You already know the boo boys come first. So I had to interview them, but check this out. I ran into some other talent out there that I had to interview too. You know, I can't let, I can't miss nothing, man. I can't miss nothing. And guess what, for y'all Saints fans, I got a little surprise for y'all too. Y'all gonna like it. Check it out. J.K. Lee Sports here with 2026 Catholic ride receiver Jackson Hodges. What's going on, man? Uh, just doing good, but trying to win this tournament. We ain't gonna talk about this tournament. In Atlanta, you put a show on. Talk about that and how well you played, man. So, Look, it made me happy, man. It's a fun experience, but man, Nico was lacing up some dots. <laughs> he was throwing that thing. Oh yeah, he was slinging. It was perfect. Alonzo, Baloney, we all did our job, especially Nico. Um, he's not with us this tournament, but we're hoping we can get some far with Garrett. And um, it was a great tournament. We had fun. Hey man, look, for us to be able to be in our first year having a 15U team, I want to tell you, to finish third in the national tournament, bro, I had tears in my eyes, bro. I was happy. I'm excited, bro. I appreciate you, man. We appreciate you over here getting this 15U team. We're loving it. We're having fun. We haven't come out on top yet, but we're going to do the best we can to come out on top of this tournament. So, look, man, I'm, I'm going to give you opportunity to say yourself like I always do. Why should the big schools recruit Jackson Hodges, man? And I'm talking GPA, I'm talking about ability, I'm talking about everything that you bring to the table, man. I'm gonna let you say it yourself, man. I'm working hard in school. School is the first priority. And then I'm working hard that. after that, or after school, hit the gridiron, get to work. And then I'm home studying routes, studying plays, all this film we have to do for Catholics since we got a new coach. Yes, indeed. But we'll talk about your new coach, man. Oh, I love him. Coach Fuller, yeah. smart guy, and he's a great he's a great leader so yeah. far. We're all loving him. Great guy. Hey, man, I'm excited about this tournament. I'm excited about the season, man. Whatever you need from me to pull up and interview yeah. you after your games, but I'm going to be there. I appreciate it. All right, man. J.K. Lee Sports here with 2025 Woodlawn defensive back Kalen Sanye. What's going on? Oh, what's up, J.K.? Now, look, this is the crazy thing people don't realize about you. Yeah, you are a professional bowler. So talk about your bowling season, man. Uh, it was good. Um, it's a team thing, and my me mentality, I can do anything I can put my mind to, but the man above gave me the skills, and my mom developed me, so got to show. What's the what's the highest you bowl this year? 288. That's impressive, bro. That's impressive. So then you, you, you get finished with bowling, you come out here, you catch the game winner for the Boo Boys. Talk me through that play. Um, It, just, it, it was set up. The corner bit down, and I was open, touchdown. 
The one thing I love about you, I, your passion, I love your passion, but it's your ball skills. So is that natural or you've been working on that? Because <laughs> uh, you can find the ball in the air, man. It's, it's natural and, you know, you got to work. Um, yeah, it, just, it was just the play and I was just open at the right time and touchdown. Now, I talked to Coach Terry the other day. You want to hear us. Talk about growing up in the South Bay Rouge Jaguar uh, organization and how important that was to your de development. Yeah, um, Coach Terry worked me to... Shout out Coach Terry. Shout out to Coach Terry, yeah. Shout out to the Jaguars, too. Um, they train me, they build me, and see where my skills got me. Just work. Now look, man, we're going into the fall. It should be your first year starting at Woodlawn at Corner. What can J.K. Lee Sports, Mad Game Entertainment, everybody watching this this interview, what can we expect from Kaylin Sonye this fall? Be the best corner I could be. Catch the most picks. <laughs> Don't try me on the deep ball. <laughs> All right, man. So, look, one more question. I'm going to end it with this. Why should the big schools recruit Kaylin Sonye? Because oh, I got good ball skills. I'm coachable. And... Athletic. Athletic. Long. Long. Smart. Smart. <laughs> good GPA, 4.2. That's what I'm talking about. And I'm doing good in the classroom and on the field. And I'm a leader. Appreciate you, bro, man. I'm glad you came with us. Look, it's a funny story, bro. And we got to say that for off the camera. It was a funny story on how Kaylee and Dell come and play for the Boo Boys. We're going to talk about that later on, though, man. Holla. J.K. Lee Sports here with Boo Boys 18U coach Hansoni Holland. What's going on, man? Oh, not much, man. Chilling, man. How's it going? Now look, this is a crazy thing. A big announcement a few weeks ago, D. Will headed to Plaquemine. How does that affect Coach Sony and his future? <coughs> well, uh, the way it affects my future is I'll be joining him at Plaquemine on next year. Hey, man, look, I'm real excited to see what y'all gonna do. Always a place with a plethora of talent. How do you hone in that talent and get that state championship for Plaquemine? Uh, one of the biggest deal is just enforcing discipline at the end of the day. Um, that's one of the biggest keys of winning the state championship. Uh, making them understand what I want as an uh, offensive coordinator, um, instill my different offense, and drive them to success as much as possible. All right, so, you know, it, I don't know if I can say this, but I'm going to say it anyway. Uh, quarterback battle, you going to let us in on it or what? No, sir. <laughs> You got to say no comment. No comment. <laughs> there you go. All right, man, look, we, we out here at Southern University. You graduated from Southern, played quarterback right over there in that stadium, man. Sure. How important is it for you to come out here and put forth the best foot you have for the organization? I mean, one one step in, at the end of the day is uh, Southern University is the place to be. Um, it's a great atmosphere. Uh, you get a great opportunity. You learn different things about the world. But uh, it's great to come back to your alumni and give back, but also, you know, represent for the Boot Boys as well organization. Show that alumni from Southern University are doing big things and taking another step in the uh, role of life. But as I will tell you to pick him up. So look, man, I'm, you know, I'm really excited, man. Uh, I appreciate everything you do for the organization, okay. man. You know, we're gonna close this one out here and we're gonna get ready for next year. I uh, can't wait to be in at Plaquemine Homecoming. I'm, I'm there. You don't want to miss it. I'm going to be there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> J.K. Lee Sports here with Coastal Elite 15U quarterback Paul Cash. What's going on, man? Nothing much. Excited to play some football. Hey, man, look. You got to be excited to be in Louisiana, right? Yes, sir. What's your favorite thing about Louisiana? Probably the food. You like the food, bro? Yes, All right, look, man. They just told me you the, you're a ninth grade quarterback at Daphne. That's a school known for winning state championships. Are you going to win a championship, and what does it take to win that 6 eight title in Alabama? I think I'll definitely win a state championship, and it just takes a lot of hard work and just practicing the little things. The little things are what matter the most. All right, now going into your sophomore season, what's some of your personal goals? Um, I think personally, I think I want to work on my passing and definitely my rushing because last season – I need. I just didn't do good to to get rushing, so I need to work on that. So you, you so you, you gonna play JV or varsity this year? Uh, I think JV this year, and then the next year I'll be varsity. Straight up. So why should the big schools recruit Paul Cash, man? Why? I think I'm. I like your last name. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I think I'm just an overall good quarterback, and I can really just do anything you need me to do: throw, run, whatever you need me to do, I can do. Hey, bro, appreciate your time, bro. Great interview, man. J.K. Lee Sports here with Power 5 running back recruit, Daphne running back, Nick.
o'clock. What's going on, man? Nothing, man. Just chilling, living life, man. Glad hey, look, to be out here. Hey, look, I'm in the presence of greatness, bro. I heard the, the people told me you won a running back uh, award at the Rivals Camp. Yes, sir, I did. How it felt, man? It felt great. Just all work to it and keep on doing what you're doing. So, look. I, I, state championship got to be the goal at Daphne, right? Yes, sir, no doubt. We got to got to get a state championship. But one thing I want to overemphasize to you, bro, I feel like I'm in the presence of a star. So, where you going to school, man? I mean, you don't tell me. Your TV, man. Uh, I, I got to wait. Yeah, you got to wait. <laughs> you got to wait. It's coming, though. Hey, it's coming. I, somebody told somebody told me roll tight. Hey, RTR, baby. Just, <laughs> just know. Just know it's coming sooner or later. Sooner or later. So look, man, going into next season, what's some of your per your personal goals for yourself? Uh, my personal goals for myself: two thousand yards. Two thousand yards. How many you had last year? I had over a thousand. So you want two thousand? Yeah, I want two thousand. Uh, ten touchdowns, about five to ten pancake blocks. Oh, <laughs> you want to do that like the block? Yeah. Say, man, look, I'm gonna follow your. I've been following your recruitment uh, very closely, man. I'm glad you came over for the interview, man. Anything you want to tell the camera, bro? You can hold the mic and tell. How about that? All I'm gonna say is, you feel me? Just keep working. Don't ever give up. If you give up, it's gonna be a waste of time. Be grateful for everything, cause everything not gonna last forever. I always remember that. Appreciate that, my brother. Much love. Hey, bro, you gotta follow my Twitter too, man. I got you. Let me, let me get you. I'm going to get it. All right, holla. J.K. Lee Sports here with 15U Coast Elite Coach Travis Johnson. What's going on, man? Everything good, my brother. Everything good. So, look, let's go back to college. Way back. Tell them people how good I was at college. They think I be capping. Man, the youngsters can ball. <laughs> yeah, man. The youngsters can play some baseball. Hey, look. Where I'm from, it ain't too many brothers that I go somewhere else and be like, hey, they can play at Daff in the high school. My partner was legit. I'm, tell, I, I'm glad y'all heard that. Y'all be think I be playing, man. So look, now look, it's y'all first season. Talk about starting starting a, a organization from the ground up. Like I've been, I, I know it's rough, but you talk about it. Yes, sir. Man, let me tell you, it's the struggle is real. <laughs> the struggle is real, especially when you show up to tournaments and you got these hand-picked teams and you got to deal with what was what, what, dealt to you. So y'all didn't do a trial? Nah, we didn't do a trial this year. It's our first year, Coast to Elite. We getting out the ground, but hey, it ain't how you start, it's how you finish, baby. It's how you finish. Now look, I'm, I'm gonna give you an opportunity to talk about your son, 2026. Uh, defense, defensive back. Defensive back. Look, Say his name. Travaris Johnson. Yeah, hell of a player. Daphne, Alabama. <laughs> Eighth grader. What year? What year no, 2027 then. 2027. Yeah. We come. So look, man, I already interviewed two of the Daphne guys, but we got to be thinking state championship. I know you a proud booster and alum. Got to be thinking state championship, right? When the last time they won, when you was there? Well, 2010 with TJ Yeldon and Ryan Anderson. Shout out TJ. Shout out TJ Yeldon. That was the last year Daphne uh -huh. even went up the road, but we coming though. So, so the bigger picture is for us to get these men ready. So when we get the following crew in, they can help us coach. So look, so look let me tell you, I, I want to give you a chance to talk about Paul Cash and how it is to coach a special player like that. Just interviewed him, so I want to give you a chance to talk about it. Oh, man, okay, so Paul Cash, he a good little fella, hard worker, smart kid. <laughs> like I tell him, he need a little weight room. <laughs> but hey, he go through progression so good yeah. that you got to deal with him. But I just tell him, keep working. So look, right. what's your goals for the tournament this weekend, man? Man, hey, Coast to Elite goes is at least win. We gotta go two and one. Two and one a day. Two and one a day. Two and one a day, I'm a happy coach. Hey, it's all good, bro. I appreciate your time, bro. J.K. Lee Sports Hill with New Orleans Saints defensive tackle Malcolm Roach. What's going on, man? Oh, uh, no, nah, man. Happy to be here. So, look, I wanna let you know. I'll, even though you graduated from Madison Prep, yeah. I still see you as a Sun Lab guy. Is that okay or not? Oh, uh, that's good. I went there from you know pre-K to ninth grade, so you know they. I, I was raised over there, you know, and yeah. took it to Madison. That's where I graduated. Look, played played on the varsity football team at Elementary School. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I was about like fifth grade playing varsity, man. That's crazy. So look, man, when you got the new contract and they asked you to sign it, what were you thinking? Ah, uh, to be honest, I just was happy I would get the chance to stay home, you know. Um, happy I get to stay around my family and things like that and uh, get to be around, you know, come to events like this and, you know, show my face in the community more. So, you know, I, I couldn't, uh, couldn't, uh, couldn't complain. 
So look, man, what are the goals for the New Orleans Saints? Don't don't give me the the, the, the vanilla answer, Super Bowl. What are the realistic goals for the New Orleans Saints going into this season? We gotta go to work. I feel like you know um, we got gel these pieces. We got together. You know we got new quarterback. Talk about your quarterback, man. Uh, you know, I played against him twice. You know, he's a good quarterback. Got a good pedigree to what he bringing in. Uh, we also have some good weapons around him, too. You know, we signed a good running back, too. Yeah. Um, got some new D-linemen in there. So we got to put these pieces together, you know, put a little uh, Louisiana sauce on it, you know, a little seasoning on it, and, and get them going. You know, we, we going to see how it takes us, though. So look, man, I'm a proud Dallas Cowboy fan. <laughs> proud Dallas Cowboy fan, but I, I'm about to admit something on TV. As long as Malcolm playing for the Saints, I'm a roof on. We need that. We need that. Now, if they look, look, like, so me, I'm thinking, I'm like, they ain't gonna re sign him. He gonna, I ain't gotta like the Saints no more. And then, <laughs> then you call me out guard and you sign. I, pre, I feel like I call a lot of people out guard. Uh, <laughs> I got a text message that like midnight. Yeah, yeah, that's when everything released, man. It, it all released. I was asleep when it released, man. <laughs> I had agreed to the stuff at like 10 a.m. in the morning. They ain't released it about 11. Hey, like, bro, I got it. I got it late at night. Wait, bro, I'm proud of you, bro. Madison Prep Zone, man. Everything you doing in the community, everything you doing with the Saints, bro, gotta put on for Madison Prep. So give, give uh, my auntie Miss Lisa and all them a shout out, man. Man, shout out to that Prep, man. You know, <laughs> and we still doing a bit Madison Avenue. I'm coming back to see y'all soon. <laughs> Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate that. All right. <laughs>
Super Cool Fashions located at 6180 Airline Highway. Hey, yo, man, it's your boy Marcus Lawless, man, head coach of CSAL Lady Wolverines. Man, I'm rocking with J.K. Lee Sports all day, baby. Well, it started about maybe like nine, ten years ago. Um, man, I was uh, teaching at uh, Southeast Middle, and um, the girls coach at the time, Mr. Cornelius Allen, he pretty much came to me. Uh, he said he remembered me from, you know, playing ball when I was little, uh, played in the student teacher game, showed up a nice bit, and pretty much he, uh, we sat down, talked, and he said, man, you know, he had a nice amount of good girls that he was willing to, you know, be able to like coach with. I mean, he wanted me to coach with him and, and he said he had a nice amount of girls that were, you know, good girls that I should be able to help grow with them. And man, it just took off from there. Um, my first year assistant coach under him was with some great girls. Uh, Lexis Horn is playing for Southeastern. Kyra Wren is at UL. Um, I mean, pretty much that journey was just good in itself because that actually made me really love girls basketball even more. Even though I liked the Simones and all the above, I always watched it. I just never envisioned myself coaching it. But being that I did, you know, start with him, I said that was something that I could, that I wanted to really always do because it was helping out, you know, black women or women just alone, you know, it was help elevating their game and getting their names out there, and, you know, all of the above. So, so yeah, me, me coaching with him, it, it helped me out a lot in the coaching world. That started me off. Um, all together coaching, um, throughout the years I have eight, eight out of the nine years I've coached, because I know one, one year I was assistant coach, we actually, um, we lost the championship uh, that year, but I actually have eight, um, six in a row right now, um, and pretty much, um, the, the object of what we do and how we play every year is just basically getting better with the coaching, but at the same time, it's the will and want to help other individuals learn, especially these young student athletes, is, is able to help them grow. So normally throughout these years of how everything has been going, how it's been going, besides getting talent in and kids you have to keep developing, everybody has to be developed, but all in all is the will, is the work that the confidence, control, like that's something I breed in them every year because it helps them out as far as on a mental basis. Now, as far as our work ethic in the gym, oh, that's null and void. We work hard in the gym. But you have to have that mindset to keep going, whether it's tight, whether you're up, whether you just always have to know what to do and what you're doing. But as far as going on this run, man, just having a lot of girls that really, really have a great will to want to play basketball and be coached. You know, you have to be coachable. And I can honestly say throughout all of these years, a lot of these young ladies have been very well coached and very coachable at the same time. Because at the end of the day, you got to understand, you know, dealing with boys is, you know, different, a little different than dealing with females. But at the end of the day, they all kids at the same time. So it's just taking on that task of even dealing with girls was a task in itself. But I'm going to be honest with you, I, I love it. I love what, what we have become, and I love as a coach what I've become within this world of coaching girls basketball, and I plan on going even higher with it. You know, um, but as a head coach right now, and I know my my record is like, I think they told me 210 and two, or whatnot. So, I mean, that's a, <laughs> that's a plus in itself. You know what I'm saying? 210 and two, like, man, you know, I wasn't keeping up with it, but I try to play them in at least 30 games a season, even though it is middle school, you want them to get as much work as they can in and not just run up and down the floor, playing different talent over the state, uh, playing different talent that's out of the state. So, I mean, like you want to help them grow and see that, you know, then you'll have a lot of more college ready or college material, like, you know, as far as being out there getting seen, you know, that's, that's a task in itself to just get out there and be seen or whatnot. So, I mean, 
all in all, I, I, I just, I love it. I love it right now. Well, I mean, just being an educator first. I mean, that's that's what drives my everything. Just being an educator all together because, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm helping, you know, kids. I'm, I'm a part of their journey. Like, I'm helping them get to a point of wanting to go to high school. Even past middle school, I want to go to college. Like, that's what I ask my students all of the time as far as wanting to go to college. Like, you know, is this something that you want to do? Is this something you want to work towards? But the educator part is what I take really, really serious first and then athletics come after that because once i know i have your mentality and your you know everything in my class even if you don't take my classes you being an all around good student then i know when it comes down to dealing with me within the gym whether it's football basketball whatever sport it's just more so the task at hand is like you know it drives me every day to go to work you know to help these kids out because it's one thing i'm dealing with is kids and i always said this to myself when i started off in education was that i never want to cheat someone else's child you know because i have other people that's dealing with my kids as well whether it's teachers whether it's coaches all of the above and to be a part of their journey you want them to have to say Man, Coach Lalas was the best, or Mr. Lalas was the best with me in the classroom, or even whatever sport we're playing. So, I mean, that drives me. The kids drive me every day. I mean, that's, that's, that's the main thing. Education and just being able to deal with these kids to help them grow and knowing that I'm a part of their journey to get them to where they need to be, or even helping them to get to where they need to be. Because I highlight a lot of these kids that's in middle school, even though we're traveling like we are, this may be their only highlight. You know, they may go to high school, but you just n might not never know what can happen, but you can help them out, you can push them, but you are giving them, an ex as far as mentally, you're giving them an experience in, in, in a sense of a lifetime, you know, especially how we play and where we go and who we play and what we do, and knowing that, hey, we're known around the state you know, and maybe in other states we're known. So that that's a, a level of achievement for a lot of the kids in itself, but it also helps them grow mentally to want to get to other levels. And if you can have those kids do that, then man, in a sense, hey, it might be a breeze for them. Even if they come up against a challenge, it's always a, man, I'm happy what you told me in middle school. I'm happy what you taught me in middle school because at the end of the day, I took that with me in high school when it was a challenge and I had pretty much no one else at that point or even if I did, you gave me the best advice in order to walk my days through high school and I love that and I get all these messages all the time from different students, you know, that's graduating or, you know, whether they're in college or whatnot to say thank you for what you did for me in middle school because you actually told me, you know, I'm getting your mind mentally ready for college and they actually seen that that's what happened. You know, I actually got their minds ready for college and high school was a breeze for them. Whether it was a challenge or not, they was able to take it on and roll. And man, a lot of them are now in college. And that's a big, that's a big thing to me, you know, just, just to see them excel and succeed. Well, I mean, as far as me even being an educator and teacher, and then some of my actual players do take my class, they actually look at the differences in how I teach my classes on a mental note and then how I coach them as well. So even how I teach them in class, and I mean, if you even you go to basketball, it's about angles, you know what I'm saying? I teach mathematics and eighth grade at that, you know, we have angle relationships, you know what I'm saying? So me personally, sometimes I fuse that with those different types of, uh, different types of things I'm teaching, but all in all, it's just more so that seeing me teach them and even understanding that as a black man, you know, they have a lot of black men out here teaching, don't get me wrong, but as a black man, I'm teaching math, and man, you know what you're talking about, and man, you're making me smarter by what you're teaching me and the, and the route that you're taking to help me get to this point. They see that in class, so that, that rolls over to sports easily because you're actually helping them in something that they got to take with them every day sports don't last always but hey having an educated mindset or even being smart of the game that hey you gonna carry that with you for the rest of your life you know so i mean all in all me teaching them and them knowing all right mr lawless really cares about us in the classroom you know we take it to the football field the baseball diamond the basketball gym and I, they give me they all, because every day is not gonna be a good day. You know what I'm saying? And whether I'm in a classroom, I always teach them that 
this is nothing personal in here. It's always business. Have a business mindset, you know what I'm saying? Take your grades personal. But have a business mindset to where, hey, if, hey, if it's constructive criticism or if, you know, getting, um, if I'm telling you something as far as redirecting you, if, if it's in the classroom or on the court, you already know it's nothing personal. It's, it's that I care about you at this point. And at the end of the day, you can take that, hey, take it as knowledge, use it, roll with it. And that works out a lot in the classroom and in sports because it's not a personal deal. It's all business, and you have to have a business mindset with anything. You can carry that through college. You can carry that as an adult, you know, because as an adult, you get a lot of constructive criticism sometimes depending on what you're doing. And you got to know how to wear that hard hat and, and not be able to not wear your feelings on your shoulder, you know, so you won't take it personal, and you can make whatever situation better for you good in that aspect, you know. So all in all, that's mathematics-wise, that's what drives me with that, and that's what I do within the classroom and on the court or the field, either or. My name is Marcus Lawless, and you can catch more of my new series, Conversations with Coach Lawless, right here on the MG Network. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Channing Blake. I'm the Assistant Director of Athletics here at Louisiana Leadership Institute. Primarily, we want to concentrate on basketball right now. And so if you have a kid that wants to build their game, build their skills, become a better student, and also a better athlete, by all means, please come and see us over here at the Leadership Institute. Thank you. God bless. Man, man, look, that's it for this week. All remember to follow all of my social media, J.K. Lee Sports. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you got to follow the MGE Network, like and subscribe. Man, they on Instagram, MGE Network. Man, they on Facebook, Mad Game Entertainment. And they on Twitter, MGE Network, man. Y'all follow, follow. One, two, three, one, two, three, hurrah!